this is seventh standard science class nutrition in animals and i am ashoda talking to you all children i hope you remember in the previous class what we have actually completed we have completed with uh, the food pipe and the esophagus how the soft food enters to the food pipe how it actually travels and ultimately reaches the stomach and now what will happen in the stomach is what we need to know today so let us uh, draw a very very small uh, diagram so we have this this is our food pipe this is our food pipe and this food pipe leads to the stomach and here we will have liver and this is our stomach as you can see here stomach is actually a flattened g like structure we can just uh, mention it as flattened g like structure otherwise this our stomach has thick walled bag it is actually a thick walled bag our stomach is actually a thick walled bag the inner wall the inner wall what we say actually protects inner wall is mainly responsible for the protection of the food whatever enters into the stomach then comes <clears throat> the inner wall is what i told you afterwards this inner wall will be having some of the important uh, ingredients the first one is the mucus it contains mucus it will also have hcl that is hydrochloric acid it will have some digestive juices digestive juices also so this stomach which is actually of a thick uh, wall a bag like structure the inner wall of this stomach mainly responsible for the protection and it contains the inner part of the stomach contains mucus uh, hydrochloric acid and the digestive juices now what do this uh, mucus do mucus actually helps in sliding down because food cannot stop in the stomach only it has to go to, towards the other part of the organ also for the completion of the digestive system, digestion of the food what is been consumed and this hydrochloric acid what is the function of this hydrochloric acid this hydrochloric acid takes care of bacteria because the food what we, what we eat is not immediately digested or it is not completely broken down into simpler or useful form it will be in the stomach for some time and whatever food or water we take may be contaminated through many reasons also uh, that time any foreign bodies or any bacteria have entered this hydrochloric acid will take care of it later hydrochloric acid the word only says it is also acidic maintains the acidity of the uh, stomach also later what do this digestive juices do digestive juices mainly responsible for breaking down of certain type of food they break down protein molecules so digestive juices break down digestive juices break down protein to smaller or simpler particles protein to simpler particles protein to simpler particles so that that is what this digestive juice actually will do so 
uh, our uh, stomach actually end of the stomach leads to sorry end of the food pipe leads to stomach and in the stomach three important uh, uh, in uh, uh, things will be present they produce the inner wall of the stomach produces these three uh, and the function of those three important uh, uh, substances what is actually found in the stomach is what we understood today and now next uh, after this uh, stomach after the stomach the end of the one end of the stomach is actually from the food pipe and the other end actually leads to the intestine uh, part so the next digestion part takes place in the intestine we shall learn in the next class thank you